Let's get back to the New South Wales election now. Votes are still being counted. We got uh, don't really have a big read on the upper house at the moment, but there are plenty of lessons in this. But will the right people be listening? Joining me now is uh, a leader and a former New South Wales moderate in the Liberal Party and party lobby lobbyist Michael Fodius. Good to see you. You're Glad not Chris Kenny. Uh, we were meant to speak to Chris Kenny about <laughs> The Voice this morning, but we're um, having a few technical difficulties. But you can see him at 8pm tonight, so don't worry <laughs> about that. This is Michael Fodius. Uh, let's look at the... Um, at the results that we know so far. I think it's a clear Labor uh, majority, uh, uh, just how big that is. I think when you look at the number of seats that are now marginal Liberal seats, it's you can almost call it a landslide in terms of, you know, historic victories and, and what the numbers usually stack up like. What is your read on this? What is the electorate telling you? Well, it's a major victory for Labor and the community, I think in a modest way, gravitated towards a time for a change because they like Dom Perrottet. They're impressed by the government's achievements, but they took to Chris Minns and felt it was time. But I'd say this, Laura, it's not so much the landslide that we saw federally mm. or in Queensland or West Australia or Victoria when there were changes of government. They'll actually land in the end when all the votes are counted with a very narrow majority a narrow majority. Labor will end yeah. up having a, a number of seats in the high 40s and the Coalition will have a number of seats in the 30s. That's completely a different landscape to what you've seen in Canberra, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth. Mm. And so it affords the Coalition a chance to prove itself and to get there sooner rather than later. The Liberals are a mess internally. Why? What is going on? Can you not put your factional differences apart? What happened to the broad church? Well, every political party, and the Liberal Party is no different, has its wings. Um, and you need two wings to fly as a bird, and we need the Conservatives and the Moderates working together. Mm. So and, and when's the last time they did that, work well, together? Well, actually, under Perrottet and Keane, um, there was proof. It was uh, proof of concept. The two of them, one a Conservative, one a moderate, worked extremely well together, as we did with the Nats, which is one of the reasons why I think... The Nats the, have done the, really well. Very well. They've only Except lost one. one seat, Monero, to the Labor Party and one seat, Port Macquarie, to the Libs. Mm. Um, so it's been... Which uh, is a defected uh, Nat. Which was a defected yeah. Nat, but confirmed this time in a ballot context because before it was uh, a switch. So, I mean, from the, the, the moderates, the right wing and the Nats' perspective, they've actually worked quite well together. I think you, you're driving at the organisational problem. Absolutely, I am. And that's where all the factions... There is a visual the hatred. They can, can, can barely contain their hatred of, of one another internally. I mean, Dominic Perrottet in the Nazi dress-up uniform, that wasn't a Labor hit. That was an internal hit. What is going on? Interestingly enough, an internal hit from Conservatives on Conservatives, right. as we all know. What a joke. I mean, so what I mean, we what need... what a joke that is. And also the branches, you know. Dominic Perrottet tries to get more women, tries to drag them, kicking, kicking and screaming to modernise, then he's rolled by the branches. Yeah, I mean... well, we, we certainly need to modernise the party. We're going to corporatise yeah. it. We've actually got to revisit, I'm afraid, constitutional mm. reform. But no quotas. Because we, we oh, brought in... be too much. Well, well, the quota isn't so much the issue. Mm. It's the pre-selectors. And the pre-selectors who are not necessarily representative of the electorate at large mm. are making decisions but if you had in quotas, a so-called democracy. If you had quotas, wouldn't you force their hand a bit? Well, mm. we need candidates on merit and we need more women. Sure. It's Interestingly enough, Jackie Munro, mm. Tanya... Arid. I mean, there are a range of, of new women that have gone into the party on this occasion. I think we're, we're addressing that issue. Mm. Quickly? Um, we couldn't do it fast enough and we're going to do it more aggressively. Yeah. But what we need actually is each of the factions to work cohesively together. Mm. and to put the party first. That just doesn't happen. There's so much hatred there. No, well, there's hatred internally within one particular faction, if I might say so. Yeah. Um, there's actually a fair bit of love and friendship between the right and the left, remarkably. Right. It's the intra-faction disputes which have now become the new problem. Right. And so people have got to pull so together. So what's happening there? Well, I reckon Dallas Back and Ernie from my, my sister faction of the mm. right should take the leadership. They should all get behind him. We should work with him. And we should work cohesively. So what, a party they, that can't govern itself in the can't faction? govern the state. Are they competing about who's more conservative enough? And like, are they, you know, saying, "Well, I'm a true conservative. Uh, you're not really because you've done X, Y, and Z." It is so ideological. And while they have these internal debates, 
they're losing elections. There's some of it's ideological, a lot of it unfortunately on the conservative side is around personalities, mm. geopolitical endeavours and mm. centre like right versus much, the right. They? No, I'm Darth Vader to the right, but uh, um, I've, 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 had, I've had enemies uh, for 40 years since I went on to the party state executive. Mm. I see them come, I see them go. So what is your responsibility then? I mean, you can't remain Darth Vader to the right. You know, what are you going to do? Well, I work well with them. OK. At the leadership level, we brought the party together before the 2011 big win with Barry O'Farrell. Yep. I sat down with the right, we re re restructured the party and we brought it all together. Mm. We've survived 12 years. And let's face it, going into this last election, we were asking the election electorate to give us 16. Even Angela Merkel couldn't get that in, yeah. in, in Germany. It was a tough ask. And in that context, we've lost, but we haven't lost shockingly. Really? No, because if we're in the 30s with our seats, sure. a half a dozen seats at a but future like election could give us give us back government. Well, we didn't lose the teal seats. At the federal level, unfortunately, we lost on the left and the right. Is it just the optional pre preferential voting that's helped you there? It was more than optional preferential. I mean, in my seat of Vaucluse, the independent candidate there got a paltry 18% of the primary vote. Allegra Spender took the seat last time. Yeah. So I think Matt Keane's impact on uh, zero emissions and climate, working closely and supportively um, with, with high Dom, when you're made a difference. At a base, though. Are you a bit nervous about that, 18%? 18% was what the independent, yeah, independent got. got. Yeah, that's, um, that's quite high. No, when because you're talking most of about that, that's being your base. Much of that was shaved off Labor and the Greens. OK, yeah, fair enough. OK. Um, just one final question. Do you think the Liberal Party needs to become more conservative to win elections? Well, we have to speak with a particular message which drives home, so we've got to, got to speak to the Conservative base. We have to. Mm. We have to appeal to both. We've navigated that pretty well in New South Wales and with unity with Nats and Libs. The Feds have got to learn that a little bit more. It's a challenge across a whole country. But, I mean, we've done this quite well in New South mm. Wales. We've got to fix up the organisational crap but we've got to remain united as we are at a parliamentary level. We're going to find a new leader and we're going to make sure we prosecute um, in, a, in a constructive way, like Minns did, yeah. in, the, in the coming years. OK. Good to talk to you. Great to be here.